Hey, how's it going everybody? So today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a reverse VLOOKUP to link records in Airtable without using a script. And I'm gonna do this all with just Airtable automation. So even on the free plan, I believe you should be able to do this. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners help implement systems in Airtable and connect Airtable with other systems like Zapier or Integromat and we help you scale your business to the next level without having to do all the technical issues. So if you're, or deal with all the technical issues. So if you're interested in anything like that, you can check out the link in the description, but without further ado, we'll jump right into the video. Uh, down in the description, you can request a consultation from me or someone on my team. So here, what I did is I just used this basic project tracker. I think it's a template, but I'm gonna use this to show you how to do this. So I guess I probably should have waited just a second to do that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is undo a few things so here we have the value that we want to look up so I'm going to ungroup this and this is the value right here so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna change this from a linked record to a text field and I'm gonna change this from the value here to an auto number so that we can't just directly link them so this is a case where you want to link these projects to these t these clients and you know you want to link them with this field right here so you want to look up this value over there so clients so what you might want to do is you're just like okay just let me link them just like that but there's nothing that matches that even though you can see like it's one of these fields uh, I just want to search for that I can't uh, and this would be just a lookup field once they're linked so if I chose blue France and then looked up the name then it would match right there so this is to essentially take this value and look it up but in the clients table and then link it uh, so you don't need a script to do this and I saw there's there's another video a great video there's a video that explained how to do this and I've had multiple people reach out to me asking how to do this or they couldn't figure out the script so this is how to do it without code just one automation so for this, I'm just going to use this field actually works perfectly right here just to trigger these as I'm just going to use this checkbox. So to get started, I'm just going to add a new automation over here. Automations are in the top right. So just click on automations and click add a new automation. I just did that or you can click create a custom automation. Have nothing in here. I'm not going to bother naming it because this is just a demo, but I would recommend you naming it whatever you want to. Uh, so I'd pause it and name it right now. Um, so this is going to be triggering in the projects table and I'm just going to be triggering this off of a checkbox for now, although this would end up changing to something else. And you'll notice here, uh, fixed testing error. This is all red. So why is that red? And is that a problem? I would say it is a problem. The reason why is because if I show you this complete field right here, percent checked is zero. Like we need one record at least to test this on. So we're going to go with this one. So one, like you need it, this needs to match at least one record just for testing purposes needs to match these conditions so now because i checked that box so there's one record that matches that we have green so we're good to go to the next step so now this is the this is the v lookup this is the key part right here and you can that you're going to take this and apply it to your situation but basically we want to use find records and how we're going to do this is we're going to go so the trigger was on the projects table. So we're going to have, we can use any value in any of these fields in the find records. So what I want to say is take this value of new door, go to clients and command F new door. And I'm going to be saying in this field right here. So it's going to be in the name field. So I'll go to, back to the automation and I want to add a step that is find records. And it's going to be again in that clients table for me it's going to be conditions so we don't want to use a view we want to use conditions because this is going to be dynamic for every single different checkbox that i check and i want to add the condition where the name so remember i'm going to be searching that name field like i want to search for cube solutions for the name is cube solutions so where the name or whatever field you want to be what you have that matches is and then this is the the key part here, this is probably like the hardest part and it's like, it doesn't have to be difficult, but obviously I'm, I'm doing this all day, every day. So it, 
is just natural. But here you're, you're going to change this little gear thing um, to dynamic. So this is static, so where I could type in a value. But as you know, that doesn't do anything for us. So we need to change this to dynamic. And then we can click this blue plus button, which gives us any of those fields from the trigger record. And I add that blue plus button, and this is the trigger record. If there were steps between here, there would be multiple lines here. But this is the trigger. So continue into the trigger. Then you can see the client right here. This is the value that I want to be searching for. So I'll insert that right there. And then I'll test. So that's the only value that I care about. Now you could use multiple. You could use multiple um, values for your VLOOKUP. But in this case, I'm just going to use this one. And then what I want to do is I want to update the record. So I add a new action right after the find records. It has to be after the find records where I'm going to update our project record to link them. So I'm going to pick the projects table, the record ID. I'm going to click this blue plus button and it's going to be the record ID from step one. So now you can see I can pick from step two or step one, pick from step one. You can all, uh, another caveat is you can only update one record at a time. So just keep that in mind if you, for whatever reason, decide you want to update all these find records. Uh, I'll reference that video at the end if you want to update multiple records at a time. But um, this is how you do that. So we're going to update that first record from the trigger. And the field that we're going to be updating is we're going to be linking to the clients. And we're going to use the record IDs from this find record. So this find record, if I come back to this, you can see found records right here. There's one record and it will have the record ID for us. So let's just add this find record record ID. So I'll just click this blue plus, go into the find records results, press continue, press continue again. And then I just always come right here to make a list of the Airtable record IDs. There will most likely for, for this specific use case, there'll only ever be one. Um, but just note, I believe this limits at 100. It will find up to 100 records. So if your VLOOKUP has more than 100 records in the result, it will only pull in 100. So now we can test this action. And then I'm going to turn this on because it should be working. So you'll see if we go back to projects and we look at the one that I checked, that worked. And if I delete this, and then check, 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 check. You can see all of these worked. It went and found the name in the other table and then linked it here. I've never seen that little icon though. That's kind of cool. So if I could check all of these or just copy this, copy that, paste them all the way down, it should run on all of these and it should link all of them. So that is how I would do it if I were you. And then I'm going to make sure all the ones at the top are also checked and you'll be able to see all of these get linked. Sweet. Um, I'm, I'm, that, I think that should answer all the questions. I guess the only one that's left over is what happens if there's not a match. So let's actually just test that out. So this is just going to be cube solutions. So it's close, but it's not quite there. So let's just go and check this box and see what happens. So I checked the box. It should have already ran and I did not get an error. So what it did is it didn't find anything. So just note, if it doesn't look like it worked, this last one should be that record. So if you triggered it with that checkbox, it went to go find the records, but the result was zero records. A normal output of this when it works is the find records will have at least one record. So it won't give you an error or anything. If it doesn't find anything, it just won't come back and link the records because there will be no record IDs to update here. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this shows you how to do that VLOOKUP script essentially, but without code. And I hope this solves the issues that you're looking for here. So another important piece of this is you need to have like the exact matches here and your database needs to be structured in the right way. Um, so if you are interested in updating multiple records at a time. What I'm going to put in the end screen right here is a video on how to schedule bulk automations or do bulk updates to records. And it should go through all of the details that you would want to know about that. Um, but if you're just trying to do VLOOKUPs on every single record, I would just use these checkbox. But if you just in general want to know how to update multiple records, 
go check out that video on the end screen and I will see you there. Hope you have a great day. Um, and again, just go click on that video and it should give you a deep dive on how to update multiple records in Airtable. See you there.